Today, two of my favorite ingredients, whiskey and steak, come together to form perfection. We're gonna love today. And you wanna know what's gonna make today even more better? You can't say more better. You can't. Why get fixed? Somebody fix the script. Hold on, wait for the, uh, the, the thing to change. Okay. And you wanna know what makes these? There is no script. There's no whatever thing. And do you want to know what makes this even better? We're using the weld.com Santa Maria style slash Argentinian grill. You may remember from a past video that Todd and Jason from Weld.com built us this tremendous piece of cooking equipment. Well, it's time to use it again. And here's our steak. One beautiful fricking tomahawk ribeye. Max, what would the reason be for us using the tomahawk ribeye today? It looks badass. It looks badass. There is no other reason. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, you could absolutely do with a little ribeye, with a, with a skirt steak, with a New York, frankly, with a burger or, or a pork chop or some chicken, anything you want. But this, this makes me feel like a, like a, like a caveman or something. I want to get this thing all boozed up with, with whiskey and slap it on the top of the grill. But first we make a, a glaze for it. Not a marinade. Marinade would take 8, 10, 12, 24 hours. And we want to eat now. We don't have time for that, do we, Max? We do not. Do we, Chance? Nope. Nope, we don't. So we're going to make a glaze that will give us most of the benefits of that in a very sexy way. Let's go. Our pot goes on, and we have the following. We start with a decidedly Western ingredient, bourbon, whiskey, courtesy of Jack Daniels, and that looks good. And then we add a bunch of decidedly Eastern ingredients because this is my flavor profile that I enjoy most. The first will be hoisin, kind of Chinese barbecue sauce. Next up, a little soy, and actually I'm using thick soy because I like it. You don't have to. Some sambal chili garlic paste, some fresh garlic and chopped ginger, It's gonna be really good. For a little bit of spice, some Dijon mustard. For a little sweetness, some brown sugar. And finally, as usual, a big pinch of salt and pepper. And Maxi, we mix. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be so good, you're gonna to wanna to sh your pants. <laughs> Why did I say that? Hopefully not. <laughs> so you can see, it's chunky, it's got pieces, it's amazing. We're just gonna leave it, let it come to a quick boil, turn it down to a simmer, and when it does, we'll begin our steak process. Process? I say process, Max, because as you know, I'm Canadian. Turn it down, take a second to slow, another stir. And when it slows down, we tend to our fire first before we put our steak on. And here it is, the classic Santa Maria style grill or Argentinian style grill as sometimes they're known, has sides that you can regulate with a flywheel. Let's you raise if the heat gets too much, lower if you want more heat, and in this case, the one that the boys from Weld.com built has my face in the deck, which is ridiculous, but my favorite feature. Let's start our fire. So I'm using lump charcoal. I'm not the best guy at starting or building a fire. So I've got some smaller pieces here and to get it going, I'm using these 100% natural little, uh, I don't know what these are. What are these called? Fire starter? Like fire starter, but there's a name for this particular one. I don't know what it is. So. So I'll get this going, 
I'll light those three. I have three in there. One. Two. Three. Let them just start to go a little bit. I don't want to smother them yet. And then I'll start to put bigger pieces on and then let the whole thing happen. Look, you could certainly do this steak on a gas grill, but there's just something special with flavor when you use charcoal. That's not good. So after a couple of minutes, when a little more is started, we'll start to slowly build it up. And by the way, if I'm doing this wrong, don't tell me. Fire's basically ready. It's ashy white on top, super hot. Now it's time for this kid. So let's get him out of the package and clean him up. Okay, here we go. Reach in. Let's go, fella. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Let's get some paper towel here. Come right down onto. Dry our little buddy up. Fantastic. Let's get another one. And now the bone itself. And if it wasn't obvious, they call these a tomahawk because they look like a tomahawk. And of course, in this case, apart from presentation, there's not really much reason for that, as we've already discussed. But this is a beautiful ribeye. I'm not going to do any trimming to it, but I'm good with the little bits of fat that are on here. So all we need to do is give it a little oil, avocado, of course, avocado oil. Kosher salt, fresh ground pepper, and a decent amount. It's kind of a thick piece. It's a nice piece of meat. Same on the back, bottom, side. This is about a pound and a half, and, and clearly you're paying for bone when you do this. And for you guys, I'm okay with that. Always make sure to get the edges well. Take advantage of what's on the board. Now you know what we're doing? We're going to cook. White ashy. That's what I wanted. Spread it out a bit. Look at that gorgeousness. This is going to cook pretty quick. It's not going to take long. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? So I'm going to put the grate back down to get it super hot. We'll let it go for like a minute and a half. And then on goes our steak. There's a rule that says if you can hold your hand over the flame for more than three seconds, it's not hot enough. We're well above the flame. Let's try it anyways. 1,001, 1,000. <sighs> Clearly, it's hot enough. And that's what we want. And we're ready. On we go. <laughs> and what I like is I don't really need tongs because I got built-in tongs. My style of grilling with meat like this is to turn it off in. And this will be no different. It's just big with the bone. Same thing. We'll turn, we'll turn, we'll turn. We'll get it to about 125-ish degrees. Take it off. Let's flip. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, man. It's gorgeous. And I don't want to add the glaze quite yet because when you have something sweet, it will encourage flame and we don't want that yet. Right now, we're just trying to get the color and the temp beautiful. As we get closer, then on it goes. Let's flip it again. Gosh, it's gorgeous. And the beautiful part of this Santa Maria style grill is if it's cooking too fast, we just raise it up. Slow that baby right down. And then back down, and we flip. Talk about color. Oh my God. That is so beautiful, Max. I don't know why the bone weeps blood tears right out of the center of it. But wait, who's that handsome devil hiding underneath the steak? So now I want to do two things. Now I'll start to baste a little bit, applying some of this amazing smelling whiskey, 
hoisin, soy, garlic, ginger deliciousness. And I'll raise it up. Oh my. We flip and glaze. If only you could smell. If only. I'm going to check the temp. Check the temp. 19. Uh, we're very close. Couple more degrees. And she's coming off. Say hello to my little friend. I mean, honestly. Look at the gorgeous color on this. That's fantastic. I'm just going to have to cut it. Is there a bone? So this, you can just follow the bone all the way along here. And that little bite, we call this the bite for the maker. The guy that cooks gets that bite first. Oh boy. Sweet. But not too sweet because of the chili sauce and mm, the Jack Daniels. The whiskey brought this whole thing together in a gorgeous way. Let's cut. Let's just cut so we can just eat a ton of this right now. Okay? Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's Damn. just perfecto. Oh God. Look at these gorgeous pieces. Now here's what I love to do. Let's just get them in their beautiful position. Slide everybody up and around the bone like this. This is absolutely, really, truly now completely unnecessary. Except it's gonna make a pretty picture for my phone. I don't care if anybody else wants it. I want this for my phone. Stand by, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Santa Maria style whiskey hoisin glazed tomahawk ribeye yeah and for my own personal telephone collection it looks like that come on baby smile for me work it work it let me see you there we go and now we eat so i'll be honest i like a little fat obviously on me and my steak as well and this looks perfect Not kidding. It's ridiculous. It's honestly 150,000% ridiculous. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's boozy, it's, it's, and nothing overwhelms. Everything just comes together in the most beautiful medley. Most beautiful, tender, frickin' medley. And you get that hint of charcoal. If you don't have a charcoal grill, you buy like a like a eighty dollar Weber that only uses charcoal. You got to find your way to some because it really makes a difference. Hey, thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for following. Thanks for liking. Thanks for hitting the notification bell. Thanks for for everything. For everything. See ya.